Hey you guys, how are you doing? This is Lorraine from the Sacred Alchemist 1111. I'm here to do you guys another full moon reading, okay? Um, this is um, still in the sign of Leo, it's still the full moon. So yesterday I done a reading, um, a full moon reading for you guys, but the message that I was getting was, it was a little bit too much of a almost personal reading. Um, and I just felt that I wasn't able to reach like the whole collective as I'd like to have. Um, and it was just me being led by spirit to sort of like get out this kind of warning message for a particular person. So I decided to be fair, to make it fair for everybody else. Um, I would do another reading for you guys. OK, so this is kind of like a number two kind of reading for you all. Now, um, I picked up on boldly going where you've never gone before. And in the pre-shuffle, I got um, the full card and I got the Knight of Swords in this deck here. And then for the Moonology deck, um, as I was shuffling, I got Step Out of Your Comfort Zone. Um, I think that was the North Node. So you need to check your North Node, whatever sun um, sign or star sign you've got as your North Node. Please do check that out so that you'll be able to get more messages. So I see that, um, from what I can see in the pre-shuffle, you've got things that, it's like you've decided now to step out of obscurity, okay? For some of you, it was, it's like you would have been in this kind of energy of hiding away, um, maybe intentional, or um, it would have been against your, um, your powers to sort of like stay in that kind of um, hidden place. But I feel that right now, it's about being bold enough to say, no, enough is enough. I'm stepping out okay I'm I'm ready to do this so I feel it's also down to the timing for for you what's right for you what's best for you okay so whatever may have ended in your in your situation right now I feel that right now it's as if like I'm seeing my I'm seeing this window of um, an opportunity I don't think I've got um, enough a lot of time on it I'm not going to procrastinate anymore I'm just going to go for it so this is really quite good news Let's get stuck in to other messages that we're going to get from Spirit. Remember, this is going to be for your Sun and Rising, Venus and Jupiter signs as well. It's for the collective, so please do take um, what resonates. Leave the rest for somebody else. Right, the card that's fallen out is Moon and Cancer, and it says, Spend time with family or helping others. Avoid situations that can be a drain on your emotions. I feel that that was what was going on with you from before. Some of you, it would have been out of obligation to do so, to spend time with your family um, or helping others. And I feel that for some of you guys, um, you kind of put yourself on the back burner. Um, but I feel that instead of, but even though it says avoid situations that can be a drain in your emotions, I feel that for some of you, it was actually draining you physically and emotionally when you were doing a lot of things and helping out family and friends well you know um more than really helping yourself okay i'm just going to pull another card for you guys and see what other cards that we get okay Okay, this feels like fun. Wow, we've got actually, oh, we've got three. Wow, okay. This is, okay, this is interesting. Okay, now is the time for focusing on finances and practical matters. So I feel that this seems to be certain things that is coming in after this energy for some strange reason. Okay, I'm just going to go with the flow here. So there's that one. Moon and Capricorn, again, another earth sign energy. Um, put aside emotional concerns and focus on achieving or increasing financial security. So I do feel that there were opportunities when you were in this energy that you were missing and, and literally um, new starts, new beginnings, new offers were passing you by because you wasn't able to do nothing. And I do feel for some of you guys as well, you actually missed out on certain friends um, who didn't really understand your situation, but they just assumed that you was just being a bit of a weird person like they couldn't really understand but for some of you guys it was difficult to kind of explain your situation um to certain people especially if it's new people that you just met and you don't want to sort of like be a burden and a drain on them um so you kind of kept away and kept yourself to yourself but i feel that for some of you guys 
a lot of obligations to do with family um, duties kind of took over your your time for yourself. The blue moon is now is a powerful time to set long term goals and sow seed so seeds for the future. Right. So these are, are, are what's kind of like the focus now for you more than what's actually going on in this moon in cancer this definitely feels like this now is on the back burner all right i feel that you've done your part you've done your bit and now you now have that opportunity now to work on yourself okay you're doing you let's have a look and see what's happening with the tarot so the first card that's really fallen out is the ace of stars in the reverse card, so as I said, you guys were losing out on opportunities, okay? New beginnings for yourself, new offers, and also there were delays as well in this energy coming through, um, whatever this means for you, whatever, you know, opportunity you was getting. Um, for some of you guys, it was a thing of like, well, I'll have to get back to you on that. I'll have to think about it. Um, but some people assumed that you were procrastinating. It wasn't that you were procrastinating. It's just that you physically wasn't able to actually take action or take up somebody on their offer the ace of swords in reverse do you know something i feel with this card um i'll be honest with you i feel that as i said it feels to me that you you was you wasn't able to kind of like be upfront and open enough to say as i said before to let certain people know about the reason why you wasn't able to take them up on on their offer OK, um, especially, as I said, if there were new people that you were sort of like vibing with, um, you wasn't able or was it prepared to kind of kind of give too much of yourself away. All right. And for some of you, it was a thing of like, look, you know, like, uh, you know, I, I'll, I'll have to get back to you. I, I'll have a think about it. Right. Instead of being truthful and saying, look, I'm in a situation, I've got family issues. I feel that for some of you guys, it was a thing of like you didn't want your you know the people that you were wanting to vibe with to know too much of your family business okay too much of that and i feel a bit of a secrecy um energy there as well okay for some of you guys you you don't want to be mm, interesting i'm going to take this card this is the nine of swords for some of you guys um you didn't really want that to be too much of a burden okay now we've got the nine of swords here and i'm told to take this because this actually represents or represented your situation where you were feeling really stressed. You know that you wanted to get out. You know that you wanted to have a new beginning. But if you can see, there's like a little monkey in the background. I don't know if you can see it, guys, because this, um, you see, yeah, I think you guys can see it right there, okay? To me, this represents that you had like a monkey on your back, okay? A lot of, um, you know, people that were weighing you down, stressing you out, depending on you to sort of do everything, and it kind of took its toll, okay? So for some of you guys, it meant that there wasn't much sleep that you were getting, getting really kind of frustrated and like really wanting to get out of that situation, okay? The next card that we've got for you is justice. This is excellent because now we're seeing that the universe now, I feel as if now you're going to be getting your rewards because of all what you had gone through in this energy of the cancer um, sign. It's like, um, the universe is like sort of like giving you your rewards okay so you're definitely going to be getting um you know justice coming your way and uh, we do have the seven of stars so this really meant that as i said i feel that you were in a situation out where you were standing up for yourself as, as i said you've done your bit you've done what you've had to do this is now about you doing things for yourself working for yourself working hard on yourself and i'm also hearing that you needed to catch up as well on certain tasks if you were looking to do any courses you know this is like the time for you to start stepping up into that kind of energy and if it meant as i said losing friends blocking off certain people then girl guy you had to do what you had to do all right and it was basically tough um tough shit for anybody else who couldn't really see that all right this is your time right you've got to now start focusing on yourself and this is exactly what you're doing Next two cards that we've got, I'm going to take them. So we've got the Four of Cups. As I said, you know your worth. You're not going to be accepting any offers right now. That's not really aligning with you. And we've got the Ten of Staffs, which is the Ten of Wands. You're letting go of all these burdens. You are stepping up and away from the chaos. You're not interested anymore. You're doing you. You've done your part, as you said. You hang in there. You sacrifice your offers and opportunities. You sacrificed your career, 
you sacrificed your businesses, you know, some of you guys had to close your certain businesses down to stop trading, if that's what you wanted to do because of certain family members who were very, very codependent on you, all right? And, um, you know, I, I just feel that right now, not saying that you're, you're bitter because you, you did what you had to do, but now this is your turn. This is your time. Leo energy is very strong here. So yeah, you're not going to be moved, okay? And you've got Taurus again, which is all about being focused, very grounded, um, digging your heels in, you will not be moved. You're, you're not going to budge for nobody. And again, with this Capricorn energy, very much hard working, hard work, hard work, hard work. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, we've got the Knight of Coins. So now somebody can come to you now with an offer long term, or the fact that this is you now being able to offer somebody something now that's more long term for you. This is all about you and getting your coins now. All right, uh, let's close off this reading with some messages from the Moonology deck as well. Spirit, what kind of messages do you have for the collective with regards to your situation? Have faith in your dreams. This is the Waxing Crescent Moon. I'm just going to pull four cards for you guys. This wants to speak. We have got a time for healing. Yeah. Okay. Some of you guys actually stepped away when you was in this Seven of Wands energy with, you know, saying some very harsh words and a very, you know, cross of words that actually said, which hurt you and the other people around you. But you have to be unapologetic because I feel that there was also a twinge of jealousy as well. People didn't actually want to see you move and go up the ladder and move on um, because they were so dependent on your energy and on you. It was as if like you were dealing with a lot of energy vampires and people that were making you feel really guilty. Uh-uh, that ain't working on me, sweetheart, you know? What do you need to release? You need to release a lot of the stress. You needed to release a lot of the people that were just hanging on around your neck or jumping on your back, like, you know, like the monkey on your back kind of thing. You know, the ball and chain energy. No, 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 no. It's not happening. It's funny I said ball and chain. You can see that like, little ball there with the chain, which is actually my um, my pendant um, for my moonstone pendant. Um, next one we have got... There you go, step out of your comfort zone. That card came out again. That is definitely for you, and that's your north node as well. So this is what I'm saying. Guys, it is your turn. This is all about what you can do for yourself now. And I feel that you are, it's like you've got now the best opportunity right now. You are living life for you. You're going to live it to the best. You're going to live it to the fullest. Don't give a fuck what anybody else has to say to hell with them. This is on you. This is your time, guys. Okay. They've had their time. They've lived their lives. They've made their mistakes, which is great. Wonderful. I feel that right now you are not about making mistakes anymore. Okay. Whatever mistakes you made, you made them in the past. Okay. You've done it. You've got over it. You've faced it. You've dealt with it. Okay. Now you know better. All right. I love this reading for you guys. I'm so happy that I've done another reading for you all because I feel that there was definitely more messages that I could pull from the universe for you guys. And, you know, it is, to be fair, I feel that this definitely will be able to resonate with a lot of people, all right, as opposed to the other one. You're more than welcome to watch the previous reading if you would like, um, but I more feel that this definitely is for you, all right? Guys, thank you so much for watching this reading. I do hope that this has helped you um, to keep you motivated and inspired to stay focused blessed and keep yourself moving forward all right guys thanks for watching this is lorraine from sacred alchemist 1111 don't forget to like share subscribe and i'll be back with another reading peace out